Welcome to the iClarify tutorial on how to downgrade your iPhone 4S, iPad 2, or iPad 3 using Red Snow. Let's begin. Create a folder on your desktop called Ponage. Place the latest version of Red Snow, the current firmware IPSW for your device, and the firmware IPSW you want to downgrade to inside the folder. You can find download links in the text version of this tutorial. Remember, in order for this procedure to work, you must have saved SSH blobs for the firmware you want to downgrade to. Extract the Red Snow archive and launch the application. Click to select Extras from the main menu. Choose Even More from the Extras menu. Select Restore from the Even More menu. Then, click the IPSW button, select the firmware file you want to downgrade to, and click the Open button. You will be informed that you must also provide the current firmware IPSW for your device. Click the OK button, then choose the current firmware IPSW from the Ponage folder on your desktop, and click Open. You will be warned that if you continue, your baseband will be updated to the latest version. If you want the best chances of unlocking your phone in the future, you should not continue. If you do not care about an unlock, click the Yes button. You will now be informed that your device will be placed into recovery mode. Click the OK button. You must now select your blobs for restore. You can choose to specify local blobs or remote blobs. Choose remote if you previously saved your blobs with red snow and they were stored on the Cydia server. Choose local if you previously saved your blobs with tiny umbrella or you want to manually specify their location. Red snow will now stitch your blobs to the firmware IPSW and automatically begin a restore to the modified firmware. After some time, you will be informed that your restore has been successful. If you are downgrading to jailbreak, you can find jailbreak instructions at iClarify.com jailbreak.